In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to bring a SketchUp file into Matter Control and do a 3D print. We'll start off by creating a new file in SketchUp. Go to View, then go to Toolbars and make sure the large tool set is checked. Go to the house icons and click on the top. This will give us the top view of our model. Then go to Camera and select Parallel Projection. This will give us a straight down view. We'll then go ahead and go to the toolbar and click on the square. We're going to go ahead and draw a square, but instead of finishing by dragging, we're going to enter the dimensions below. Here I'm entering 150, comma, space 150 to make a 150 by 150 millimeter square. After you enter the dimensions, hit enter. You can now zoom in by using the wheel on your mouse or by just going to the top toolbar and clicking on the magnifying glass. By using the middle wheel on your mouse and clicking it down while dragging across your screen, you can rotate and move the object around. Go ahead and give yourself a different perspective of the object. We're going to now extrude by clicking on the extrude tool and extruding about 20 millimeters. You can do this by entering 20 in the dimensions and hitting enter or just by dragging until it hits 20 millimeters. I'm now going to manipulate the object and create some different faces just for a more interesting print. My model is now complete and I'm ready to export to an STL file format. First thing I'm going to do is triple click on the model. This will make sure all the lines and faces are selected. Another way to do this is to just drag a box all the way around the model. After doing this, I want to right click on the model and go to make a component. You can name your component and then hit OK. Then go to file and go to export STL. Hopefully you've already downloaded and installed the plugin for STL. Go ahead and choose millimeters. Choose STL, hit OK, and then name your file and save. Now that we've exported our model to STL file format, we want to bring it into NetFab and clean it up. This will ensure that it's watertight and that there's no protruding edges or misaligned geometry. You can do this by downloading the software through NetFab or just using the cloud service. Here we're going to use the cloud service. Click Upload, choose your file, and then it will repair it and you'll re-download the new fixed file. We will now open Matter Control to prepare and print our file. Go to the print queue and hit add. Choose your file and hit open. Click on the image of your model and make sure it's oriented properly for 3D printing. In your slice settings, go ahead and go to material and choose ABS. This will give you the default settings for ABS printing. I'm going to go ahead and change some of these settings to my liking. I'm now going to go to controls and hit ABS on both extruder temperature and bed temperature. This will preheat the platform and the extruder. Once the bed and the extruder reach their temperatures, go ahead and hit start. Matter Control will now apply the slice settings to the model and then print. 